and M team that mm -hmm. we faced last year. I mean, they've added what four transfers. Yeah. Just how much different do you anticipate the way that they play and how they play coming up? Um, you know, I think last year when we played them, they were down to seven players with injuries. Um, so it was it, it, obviously they want to grind things out on the defensive end, um, but I think it was even a little bit slower pace for both teams. I think going into it, I shook Joni's hand. I was like, first one to 60, <laughs> and I think we got 59. And um, I, so I expect a little bit different. Obviously, they've scored the ball a little bit better the, their first two games. Um, the, the kid from Oregon can can really flat out play. She pushes the the, the pace well. Um, kid from Auburn, kid from Arizona, um, and then obviously we didn't play against Barker last year. So, um, you know, a, a really good ball club that's really well coached. Two games in, just what would be the next step to see from your from your team in this third game? Yeah, um, obviously we want to keep getting better offensively. I feel like. I, you know, we're just a little snagged in the half court. So if we can push tempo a little bit and try to get some buckets, um, you know, just open the floor up a little bit. Um, for us, you know, we talked about it after the, the last two games. It's just like starting to understand scout a little bit better, um, personnel a little bit better. Um, this is one we're, 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 we're going to have to know um, the scout and personnel just because of what A&M does. Um, and then we got, we, <laughs> we've got to do a better job of boxing out. Um, it's, you know, it's obviously UCLA was UCLA, but and we, we rebounded it okay against Southern, but we've got to actually make contact with somebody. Um, and I've seen plenty of clips, and I don't know how much else you can practice it. It's just a matter of going out and getting it done. And speaking of boxing out, how are you guys, do you have a plan of attack of, you know, keeping Lauren Ware out of the post? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you try to be really physical with her. Obviously, 6'5", great length. Um, you know, has put up solid numbers for them in their first two games. Uh, just try to try to beat her to her spots, um, not let her get duck ins, not let her get deep positions, um, and then got to put a body on her and push her back because six five often wins over top of six foot. We just to revisit the third quarter against Southern. Um, was that, you know, the best you, you know, is that what you expect the the level to, to look like when you guys are playing your best? Offensively. Offensively. Yeah. Right. Um, I think we were able to get out and transition. I think Mary actually got got up down the floor and, and rim run and created some opportunities for some people. I thought JT pushed with appropriate pace. Um, you know, and it's just a matter of trying to get that together for four quarters. Uh, obviously, it's it's probably going to take a while before we get there, but if we can make those stretches for longer periods of time, um, especially early in the season, we'll give ourselves chances. Where is not Lauren Betts? Yeah. But she has some size. Is that what kind of experience can you can you use that experience playing against bets against playing playing against where? Yeah, obviously the whole the whole UCLA squad. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, you know we we faced that um, in our first game, and uh, I'll be got our butts whooped, but um, I think we're we're not gonna go in tomorrow shell shocked because we have already faced it. Um, with that being said, you know, uh, where presents her own issues uh, different than, than what Betts did, so we'll have to be locked in. Jayla Smith did not play against Southern. Will she be back? Um, yeah, uh, she got it through practice yesterday. Um, obviously, wanna, it's early in the season. Don't want to, you know, rush her back too quickly. Um, so I, w I would think if she can get through today and, and uh, if she's ready tomorrow, she'll be on the floor for us. Speaking of uh, player personnel that we're going to see tomorrow, Coolby and Barker present some very interesting difficulties. Mm -hmm. How are you guys going to also attack that? Um, so, so it's trying to be physical with them too, trying to match their physicality, um, but also not get involved in, in some some other stuff. It just got to be us. You know, we, we, we're not going to be Barker. We're not going to be anybody on that team. We've just got to do a good job of being who we are um, and try to be the best version of who we are. And who are you guys right now? I think we're, we're still trying to figure that out. Um, <laughs> secrets, you know, I think the secret, the, that's the that's still out uh, for debate. But, um, you know, we want to be tough-nosed and, and physical. Um, you know, we want to make sure we're winning all the 50-50 balls and just kind of be a, that blue-collar club. Um, you know, I think we're still trying to find our identity on the offensive end. But if we can just stay blue-collar on the defensive end, we'll give ourselves a chance to win ball games. Coaches look at just the, who you're playing next, but your next three games, SEC opponents, yeah. kind of a, a measuring stick with some programs that are probably equal to where you're at, and just how how do you view these next three games and what what this could mean for you down the line? Yeah, I think when you think about um, you know 
trying to get to the tournament. Um, you know, so some opportunities for us to to get some good quality wins against some some good opponents. Um, you know, A and M, Florida, Georgia, all like you said, very similar to kind of where we are. Um, you know, in terms of you know maybe that rebuild kind of thing, um, and also very similar in terms of kind of new ball clubs. Um, you know, A&M's got new pieces, Florida's got new pieces, Georgia has a lot of new pieces. So um, I think we're all still trying to figure out who we are and, and what the season will look like. Um, but a, a really good early test for us. Any update on Sophie and her timeline? Or I, I, think she's, I think she's close. <laughs> um, you know, if they give me the green light, she'll get out there. <laughs> Awesome. And then um, last question, how are these next three matchups going to prepare you for when you get into big season play? Yeah, it's, um, you know, obviously, you know, we wanted to measure ourselves and, and, and see where we needed to go against UCLA, where we needed to take the program. Um, and then, you know, A&M, uh, Florida, Georgia, just physically get you ready for, you know, the, the gauntlet of the Big Ten. Um, never a day off. And, uh, you know, I think those three, the, the next three matches, Games will be a really, you know, just opening experience for our young kids. Like, this is what it's going to be like when we hit January. Um, never a day off. Speaking of young kids, what is the growth that you have seen in some of your younger players from game one to game two? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. Like, obviously, we, we, we expect some highs and some lows, um, you know, and we're on this roller coaster. You know, sometimes we're really up there, and then we, we hit that, that peak or the, the valley. Um, you know, we got to make sure we're on the, the kiddie roller coasters, right, where the, the peaks aren't as low, mm -hmm. um, or sorry, the, the valleys aren't as low, um, and, and just staying a little bit more level-headed on things. But, um, you know, obviously young kids, but they're out there and, and they're fighting their butts off for us. You know, when you, when you talked about the third quarter against Southern, you, you said offensively. Were you mm -hmm. not satisfied defensively? Or is that gonna well, I think they scored 19 points. I think, was it 19? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, it's, we, I, th I don't know. We gave up 19 in the first quarter, in the first half. What I don't know what they had in the fourth quarter, in the third quarter, sorry. Uh, but I know they finished with 50, so we gave up, what, 31 in the second half. Um, just being a little bit locked in. I think we gave up some and ones there in the third quarter that we didn't want to do a little miss ball coverages. So we came out great on the offensive end, but just needed to stay a little bit sharper on the defensive end. Now, one thing that helped you in the game uh, was sticking to your fundamentals, especially when it came to shooting from the charity line. <laughs> so how important um, do you guys like harp on just like the normal basics of basketball in order to be successful in games like that? Now, those are free points. Um, and, you know, we're, we're teams trying, you know, trying to find our identity in the half court. Um, so anytime we get opportunities we don't want to waste them um, I think you're, you're looking at a ball club that can probably shoot over 80% from the from the free throw line and I think we do that it'll really help us